everybody, it's the Cyber Boss, and welcome to a very special new series. I call it, um, I'm gonna call it Java with Cyber Boss. <laughs> and we're gonna be using a program Eclipse, and we're gonna work on making some Java programs. So, excuse me, we'll uh, start by making, uh, we'll do so what you're gonna do if you obviously you know how to use Eclipse and you should know how to start that before watching this tutorial or not use Eclipse but not start it up and at least make some uh, make a new thing. So we're just gonna make a new project. I've already made it called YouTube. I already have a package here. So once you're in here, just right click that you know new class or we're gonna have a class. And all you have to do for this is just name whatever you want and and call and just put the public static void main on. So we're gonna watch that, and this is gonna be kind of a fast tutorial. We'll, uh, grab that, and why is that in yellow? Oh, shoot. Okay, don't make main. Don't use that as your thing. You gotta delete that. Yes, to continue, delete, and we'll just you know. New class. It has to be a capitalized because main is a um, constructor. Main just public void. There we go. So we got that. So the first program we're gonna do is called the Hello World Pro Hello World program. So we your system uh, out dot print ln and for uh parentheses, and then quotations marks, and then just type in hello world, control s, oh, oops, forgot the colon, put your colon at the end, semicolon, control s, and run it, and if you look down on the console, print hello world, <laughs> so, immediately we're going to get something more complicated, we're immediately going to get something very, or er, not super complicated, but complicated enough. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use a variable. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do inet, which stands, it's like initialize, I think, but it basically just makes a variable. So, we're just going to do age equals 10. And then put that there. And then we're going to use an if statement. So, if age is greater than 10 and age is less than. What was. Oh, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. 65, and we'll do that, and we'll do this. We'll have that, and we we'll say system dot out dot print. If I can spell right, ln, and we will just copy that just because I'm gonna use it twice, and we'll say. Oops. We'll say, welcome, I really can't spell it today, welcome, and then we'll say, you are of age, you are, yeah, you are of age, and now, in between, in between the, we'll actually move these down a couple of brackets, but in between these two brackets, we'll now use else, We'll use else, and we'll do uh, system. Actually, I can just command v. What? Oh yeah, command v. Hold on. What did I click? And then we'll say you are not. And again, can't spell tonight, can I? No, I did it again. Alright, and now I should put some colon down there. And I gotta figure out how I screwed that up. It's one of these commands here. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. So now if we just control S, we'll save it. And we'll run it, and it says you are not of age because the age is 10, and we don't have an equal sign here. 
So if it's greater than or equal to age, or less than or equal to, and we hit control S, entering on it now, welcome, you are of age. So now if we change this to per se 9, and I forgot my semicolon there, and if you look up there, there's actually a little um, multiplication symbol, you can control S and it does, and it redoes it. It says, welcome, you of of, you, oh crap, I forgot to swap these. For some reason you have to swap them. And I forgot my equal side. And now if we run it, I should say you are not of age. And now if we put this as 50. Control S and rerun it. Welcome, you are of age. And you can use this to make very small-ish kind of programs. Really all depends on what you're looking for. So um, really, there's really, you can just make very basic console commands with this. Um, very basic console commands. So, uh, just over here. Um, so, the next thing we're going to make is a sales calculator. And I already have that opened over here, and we'll just drag this over here so I can use it. Because I'm not good at memorizing code. I or not I memorized it, I just I haven't done code in a long time, so it's kind of different for me. <laughs> so basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna uh, make a new thing and new and we'll call it a sales calculator. And we still want the public string. Sales calculator two, and I spelled that wrong. I know, don't judge. And you can add spaces. I knew that. I knew that. You can add spaces in your program. And of course, we just gotta delete all of that. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do string input. J option dot show input dialog and we'll say enter a price and we just do that and that's good we you gotta hover over this and it should say import oh that's because it seems to be J pain. Oops, my bad. Now you should have the import that. And that should bring this up. So, and I also, I this is wrong. I had it here, and this needs to be equals. That's better. Alright, so now we got the string input equals share option. So now if you run this, it should bring up a dialog box. See? It brings up a dialog box that we can use. So if we enter a price, it doesn't do anything. So now what we need to do is we need to do make a double. Which we double new price. New price equals double dot cars double and input. So we got that, and that should be BRC double. Oh, just so you guys know, I'm not like looking online. I'm just looking at my passcode that I've worked on for this tutorial, basically. And now we just we go down. And we want new. And then just, oh, I hate that you do that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna make sure hit enter. New price equals new price and I screwed that up new price divided by 25 and then we want j op option pain dot show message dialogue which is this and we don't want these 
you want it to do. You want no. And then the price is. And then you want to do space there. And then plus new price. Put that there, and that's basically what you need to do. I just gotta figure out what is wrong, and this needs to be doubled. There we go. So now, if we run this, it will bring up a box. If we enter 13, it will divide that by 25. So say we do 4. Hit Control S, or not 4 S, hit 4. And we run it, and we do 100. Brings up 25, which is the, um, y you know how division works. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain that very much to you. So, this has been the basic, uh, Java programming tutorial with the Cyberboss. I hope you learn at least a little bit. I'm still learning as I'm teaching you guys, so it's kind of an offside series that I'll hopefully be managing to do. Um, I hope that it helps at least some of you to get into programming. Um, I'll just give you, show you a little bit of what I'm working on with my game, and I know it has errors, don't judge me, but eventually we'll get to the point where we'll be able to doing all of this, all of, all of that, we'll be making just tons of hundreds, hundred line programs, um, this is the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to make a window, which is, just uses a J-frame, and if you run my game, or not my game, uh, my, uh, yeah, game, I should run that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember how you run this film. I think you just... Errors existed in my proceed. And I have a couple of errors, but basically this is what I got for a game right now. And I'm getting errors down at the bottom. That's because the game is not finished yet. It's not a finished game yet. I'm still very working on it. It's nothing yet. I mean... I mean, I could show you one. I'll show you on camera basically what I have to do. Um, if we go to my, I need my key inputs. Um, my key inputs right now aren't working, and that's the error. Set X. There we go. And we just continue to relaunch it. Um, right now.